great dance teachers. We're going to bring our parachute back out. And for this parachute play activity, we're actually going to have our prop teddy bears inside of the parachute and we're going to send our teddy bears on a little adventure and they're going to do a teddy bear dance inside the parachute. Now a couple words of guidance. Uh, make sure that you tell the little ones that the teddy bears are going to be uh, dancing and they might get thrown really high and we're going to catch them. These teddy bears are companions to these little ones. So we don't want to traumatize them by, you know, having them watch their teddy bears doing this crazy dance. They might think their teddy bears is going to get hurt or something bad might happen to them. So it could have a negative effect on them if they aren't prepared for that. So I always keep it optional. If they would rather hold on to their teddy bear and just play with the parachute, that is totally fine. That being said, at the end of this activity, and I will let you know when it happens, the little ones will get to sit on the parachute and go for a ride themselves. And I always make sure that they are seated down. If I see a little one start to stand up, we always stop the parachute, help them come out of the parachute. They may not want to go for a ride. If they don't, again, it's optional. They can stick with mom or dad where mom and dad can hold them while we send the other kids for a ride. But that's a safety issue is to make sure they are sitting down on the parachute and not standing up. We don't want anyone falling down. But without further ado, I am going to demonstrate this teddy bear parachute game. This is my child, so I'm going to have my child sit on my lap, but again, with all parachute placed, the child can also sit next to mom if they are a little more independent. But I'm going to demonstrate this now with some music. <laughs> 